Well, my next guest is an expert on fly tying and has been teaching others this art through classes, demonstrations, and articles he has published. Let's meet Scott Hansen. Hi, Scott. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, how did you get interested in doing this? Uh, well, I, I got my first fly tying kit when I was 10, and uh, I've just been doing it ever since. Been doing it ever yeah. since? Okay. And even though these, these look just really teeny, you can <laughs> catch big fish on them. You can, yeah. Uh, the flies that are there are quite small. They're mostly for trout and panfish and things like that. And this uh, but is yeah, I can catch. What? I've uh, used my flies to catch uh, salmon, uh, like the one there. I know a lot of people who catch muskies and northerns and really? bass and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, and they, there are all kinds of flies you can tie. And you brought a couple of pictures. Yeah, here. that's that's a, called that? a parachute Adams, and that's uh, probably one of the most popular flies in America. And uh, I wrote an article about that for Fly Tire. That's a Clink Hansen. And Which this is, is you invented, yeah, right? Yeah, I invented that fly, yeah, a few years ago. That's uh, uh, very small, so that, that would be for trout and things like that. Okay. And what do the fish like? Well, the, the, sometimes they, f they like little things that look like uh, actual insects, and sometimes okay. they like big things that don't look like anything. Oh, so okay. The, the fly, the, that fly is called a woolly bugger. That doesn't really look like anything, but it's okay. one of the best flies out there for any fish you could catch. And you're going to show us how to make one of those. I am, yeah. That one was uh, kind of a model's color. I'm going to tie one here that's going to be silver in color. And I've got my hook mounted in the vise already here. I've got a, a brass bead on the front and a few wraps of lead wire in the front to, just to give it a little bit of weight. Got my thread started on the hook here already. And so can you use different, do you use different size hooks for different Size yes. Fish. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this would be pretty big for a trout fly and pretty small for a bass fly or a uh, or it'd be really small for a musky fly. You'd want much bigger flies than this. Uh, but you can tie woolly buggers in all sizes and colors. So I've got my thread on the hook here. I'm going to uh, take some marabou feathers. This is actually off of a domesticated turkey, oh. and uh, it's gray in color. I'm just going to take a clump here and tie them right on the hook shank and work my thread back towards the back, kind of binding that down. And I'll work my thread back up. Take my scissors, trim off the excess there. Now I've got a little piece of silver wire. This is just regular old copper wire that's been dyed silver. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tie that on the hook shank as well. Work my way back to the back here towards the barb. And now I've got uh, just this is called chenille. This is essentially like a pipe cleaner without the pipe in the middle of it. So there's a string in the middle of it, and it's shiny and gray and green color. I'm going to tie that on my hook shank right at the back as well. So everything's tied in at the back here, and I'm going to work my thread back up towards the front of the, f of the hook and just let my thread hang there. I'm going to take my chenille here. And I'm going to wrap that around the hook shank, starting at the back, and just work my way up towards the eye of the hook, just making, just wrapping each wrap in front of the other one. This is to make the body of the fly. And once I get up to where the bead is, I'm just going to hold that straight up, throw my thread over it a few times just to lock that in place. Take my scissors, trim that out. And now, um, the last thing I'm going to put on my hook is, um, it's actually a chicken feather. It's a feather off of a, a barred Plymouth Rock chicken that's been dyed gray. I'm going to tie that in at the front here. Put a few wraps in so nothing comes loose. And then I'm going to wrap this backwards over the body of the fly. I'm going to take my first wrap in the front. Next wrap backwards, keep wrapping backwards as I make my, make my way back towards the tail. Once I get back by the tail, I'm going to hold my feather up here so I don't lose it. I'm going to take my w silver wire that I tied in earlier, wrap that around the hook shank and bind down that feather so it doesn't come loose. So this is in here nice and tight. And then I'm going to work my wire back up through the feather and through the chenille that I wrapped, trying not to mat down all the 
pretty fibers that I that are sticking out and making it look buggy. <laughs> and you, fish love buggy looking flies. They like so, buggy yes. looking flies. Uh -huh. It looks I, nice and Is yours going to be too perfect for, <laughs> for a it, fish? It <laughs> might be, yes. Uh -huh. it lo it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. So. It was very pretty. Oh, thank you. So I'll just trim off the wire, go in back here, trim off the feather. I've got a couple of, put a couple more wraps of thread here in the front. And now I've got the special tool called a whip finisher. I just uh, go around a few times, make a knot in the front, and pull that loose, and my woolly bugger is done. And there it is, ready for a fish. Yep. So, um, now you offer classes in I do, yeah. I, I offer fly tying classes uh, through New Brighton Parks and Rec, mm -hmm. also Fridley, St. Anthony, Roseville uh, Community Eds. And I also teach a few classes at Bob Mitchell's Fly Shop, which is uh, the uh, metro area's oldest fly shop. It's in St. Paul. Okay, so you have so classes coming up at Bob Mitchell's Fly I do, Shop? I do. Ha I have uh, a kind of an intermediate class okay. there, uh, one night class at the end of February. And you have one coming up in Fridley. In Fridley, yes. Community. Mm -hmm. I think we're just a little too late for the New Brighton one, but right. you do offer it, I, yeah, I offer it periodically right. in mm -hmm. New Brighton. And then I also teach uh, fly fishing classes in the summer, so throughout mm -hmm. through those same cities. So, um, where do you? What's your favorite place to go fly fishing? Well, I can't tell you exactly oh, where. No, no. <laughs> but, uh, that, that would, uh, uh, too many people my, would know that. Right, right. Yeah, I gotta have my secrets. Are they in so. state? Uh, well, or do that, you have to go out to? Uh, usually, most of the trout streams in the area are in western Wisconsin. Okay. So uh, I've spent a lot of time over there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, materials for making something mm -hmm. like this, are, do you have to go to a special store to get them? Uh, or you can, yeah, like uh, Bob Mitchell's or the Fly Angler. There's, there's four, uh, three or four specialty fly shops in the Twin Cities right now. Otherwise, places like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, you can get a lot of stuff and, uh, or online. Okay, now you called this one a woolly bugger. Woolly bugger. Okay. Mm -hmm. So each... Is each one made in a specific way then? It is. So any woolly bugger, it, whatever size or color you want, it would be tied in the same fashion. It just You just vary the size of the hooks and the, the different colored materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, is someone learning to tie, mm -hmm. how long does, I mean, how long does it take to learn? Is this? Well, uh, my, my beginning classes are three weeks. Uh, so three nights uh, we tie three flies a night, uh, so nine flies oh. overall. So throughout those nine flies, you learn the techniques to tie pretty much any fly. Uh -huh. But to get really good, I mean, I've been doing it for 32 years, so it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just getting there. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, in, once, when you're not tying flies, you are, you are um, writing blogs. I do, I have two blogs. Yeah, I've got a fly fishing blog called The Riffle. Okay. Where I, I have some fly tying tutorials and things like that, and write about where I've not specific where I fish. No, but, we're not uh, going to yeah, get that uh -huh, secret right. away. And then I've uh, I've got uh, like a life uh, blog, a humor blog that I, it's called Chaotic Kids and Clutter, okay. and I've been doing that for several years. I write about um, my wife and our four kids and all the craziness that happens there. So <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I like to blog too. Okay, Scott. Thank you. Fun to see you sure. make this. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me. Well, it looks like I've got time for a couple of announcements.